What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung is planning to merge the Galaxy S line with the Note 1. Yes, according to South Korean websites, Samsung's vice chairman is looking to merge the mainstream Galaxy S flagship lineup and the Galaxy Note family. The vice chairman is reportedly embarking on a complete review and overhaul of Samsung's mobile portfolio that has been under pressure this year. The Chinese vendors are taking a massive chunk of Samsung's market share in the low-end and mid-range segment, while users looking for flagship models aren't ready to pay huge prices for the phones. And also since Samsung's S Plus and Note lineups are increasingly becoming similar in specs, design and characteristics, there are talks to unify the two lineups. So this means instead of a Galaxy Note 10 next year, you might simply get a Galaxy S10 Plus with a 6.4 inch display and a S Pen stylus. This would save on production and development costs for two different handsets and might explain the rumors that Samsung is preparing not one or two but three Galaxy S10 devices next year. So that being said, I think merging the two lineup kinda makes sense. I mean, ever since Samsung introduced the Plus model in the S series, the difference between the Note lineup and the S Plus model has become very minimal. If you remove the S Pen, there's no big differences in design or performance between the two products. The identity of the Note lineup of the past was that the screen was the largest among Samsung flagships, which also had the S Pen. However, as Samsung started offering the Plus versions of the S lineup, the differences narrowed down a lot. Also, Samsung flagships received price cuts after a few months. By the time the Note phone launches, the price of the S Plus model goes down by a significant margin. Why would someone pay so much for a Note when they can get practically the same device for a cheaper price without the S Pen of course? The point is, having a new device every 6 months just cannibalizes the sales and it sort of devalues the prominence and prestige of Samsung as a leader in mobile technology. Also I think this decision has to do with the foldable Samsung phone, the Galaxy X. Giving 3 flagships per year is weird, so maybe that is why they are merging them together. Anyway, what do you think? Assuming that this rumor is true, are you happy with this or you don't want this to happen? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Jim, don't do it. Don't do it. If you value our partnership, don't do it. We've been putting it in together for nine do it. years. Don't do it, Jim. Do it. Jim, don't, don't do it, Jim. Do it. Okay.